just like a pair of interlocking lightsabers, this lesson on linear systems is going to discuss intersecting lines on the coordinate plane. And when those lines intersect, the point in which they hit each other will be called the solution to a system of linear equations. Now there are three different possible solutions to any system of linear equations, and we need to familiarize ourselves with what these types of solutions look like. A system with one solution intersects one time. A system with no solution involves parallel lines that will never intersect with each other. And a system with infinitely many solutions is two identical overlapping lines that intersect everywhere. Like seriously, everywhere. So let's start with an example where there will be one solution. We have two linear equations here, y equals 2x plus 1. So we'll go ahead and graph that by starting at the y-intercept, using the slope to construct the line. Now we're ready for the second line, y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 8. That's an mx plus b form. So again, I start at the y-intercept and graph the line. Now that intersection point with coordinates at 2, 5 is our one and only solution to this linear system. And we can go ahead and quickly verify this algebraically. Using the coordinates of the solution at 2, 5, we're going to substitute x and y for those x coordinates and y coordinates. So we'll replace the x's with 2's and the y's with 5's, and then go ahead and solve and see if this checks out. So for the first equation, 2 times 2 is just 4, and then I add 1 to that. So 5 equals 4 plus 1, of course, equals 5. So the first equation checks out because 5 equals 5. Now the equation on the right, negative 3 over 2 times 2 equals negative 3. Adding 8 to that, negative 3 plus 8 does equal positive 5. And again, 5 equals 5. So that also checks out. Now 2, 5 is the only solution, is the only point that will work for both of these linear equations. You can try any other point. It might work for one, but it will not work for both. Go ahead, I dare you, try any other point. Do it. <laughs> So now, what's the deal when there's no solution to a linear system? Now, the first equation is in mx plus p form, so I'm ready to graph it. I start at the y-intercept, use the slope, and graph the line. So we're good on the first line. Now, notice that the second line is not in y equals mx plus p form. I have to get rid of that 4 attached to the y on the left side. The opposite of multiplication is division. So that by dividing everything by 4, I cancel out the 4 on the left side. 5 divided by 4, I'm going to leave as 5 over 4 because it can't be simplified. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. And now my line is in mx plus b form, and I can graph it. Notice here that these two lines have the same slope, positive 5 over 4. That means that they are parallel, and we know that parallel lines never intersect. Therefore, this system will have no solution. It's kind of sad, but it's nobody's fault, so get over it. <laughs> Alright, that's the last joke, I promise. <laughs> and the last type of a solution to a linear system is infinitely many solutions. So let's go ahead and graph our first line here, y equals negative 4x minus 3. Now the second equation is not in y equals mx plus b form. We have to get that plus 3 on the left side over to the right side to get the y by itself. Do that by subtracting 3 from both sides. On the left side, it cancels out. And on the right side, negative 4x minus 3. Those aren't like terms. So we just write it as an expression. y equals negative 4x minus 3. Notice that both equations are exactly the same. They are identical. So if I graph the second one, it's going to be right on top of the first one. So every single point is going to be a solution. And since lines have an infinite number of points, this linear system has an infinite number of possible solutions. Thanks a lot, guys, for checking us out. And please follow us on Instagram at MashupMath for daily math tips, animated flashcards, and our math in sports infographics. Check it out. <laughs>